so I quickly made a, a table to cut soda cells. My beloved sun power cells. I did shortcut it here with tin soda, so um, it's worth a try. So uh, this can easily be unscrewed, and then I simply drilled a hole 80 millimeters so I could screw in the, the angle grinder or the, 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 the whatever it is called. And there's a one millimeter disc like this one. I have already uh, lots of experience with, with a big angle grinder and one millimeter uh, discs, so it does work. And now, but the problem is the disc, uh, big discs, they, they can start to vibrate, and so the smaller disc definitely will be better. Yes! So, first try, put some security gla glasses on, and, well, we can give it a try. That's okay. Uh, these little <laughs> uh, grain, and so now I still got a plus and a minus here. I think that's how these Chinese uh, solar panels are, are made. And I have made the, this this one a bit bigger because there's some surface missing here. Now I will test them if they still work because that's a problem here with the, with the shortcuts because plus and minus are both on, on the back side. Uh, but well, it should work. And it's a quick and easy way to cut the cells. And these little machines, drilling machines, they are quite cheap, so I think it's better than, than to, to, to use a driller. Uh, only one I have is a 1.5 millimeter. And yeah, I, I was running at, at very low speed, perhaps at higher speed there wouldn't be so much grain, but really that, that's absolutely okay. That's absolutely okay. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Yes, indeed, all the two cells were working, are, are working, are okay. And only this one, because here of the shortcut, it had a lower voltage and a lower amps. And so I did, with a sharp uh, nail, I cleaned uh, clean it up again, and so now it's indeed working. But I won't use it in a solar panel, so I want to make a, a, a test because it is said that these cells are a bit of flexible, semi-flexible. So now I wait. Okay. We will see. Is this really? Yeah.
So you see here is an edge. And now I will just press it down here. So I guess I, I, I really any normal cell would break. And so let's see if this one also breaks. No, you see. These cells are indeed a bit flexible. <laughs> now I would like to try even more. So this poor cell will have to die. So now we got that's uh, three millimeter, I guess, and this will be four millimeter. So another test. You see here and, and there, and so this is really crazy. Yes, these are fantastic cells. They have twenty-one percent efficiency. These are A300 cells. I also got uh, uh, C50 cells. They have even 1% more. And the, the lines are thinner, but the A300 cells, they are a bit flexible. And this is very important because for, for my solar bike, uh, they have to be very lightweight. And they have to, be, they have to take the shock. So, ready? <laughs> Good thing I have tested this. And now I can, you see we see small slices, each one has 0.5 volts, so you can make a uh, 5 volt uh, solar cell. Uh, yeah. of, out of these, you cannot make a 5 volt with the big ones, because uh, every one, uh, each cell has 3 watt. So if you make a 7, uh, 10 volt, uh, 5 volt panel, you would need 10 of these and 10, it would be a 30 watt panel and no one needs a 30 watt panel to charge a smartphone. Whereas this will be a 10 watt panel and 10 watt for, that's fine to, to charge a smartphone. So maybe I also will build a, a small uh, solar panel out of these and therefore I will make some more. Okay, bye-bye. And this will be the is the layout. So here is one string, and then it's going to the other side. So I will will make it foldable so that this can be folded to one size. Okay, thank you. Here, and so I made it foldable. So this is a bit of polyester. Uh, cotton, also with epoxy, and I attach some carbon roving to make it uh, durable, plus and minus, that's weird, oh yeah, we have a weight, can weight this again, but it's it only the, ah, and this is a 12, 12 watt panel, Well, yes, 87 gram, 86 gram, 86 gram for 12 watts, so each one is 3 watt, and it has uh, now an output of uh, voltage output is 73 so it's going to for, for charging smartphones. Shortcut current. Yeah, 
is 1 amp and 20 1, 120 so well it's going to be a 5 right now it would be a 5 5 to yeah, 6 watt panel technically it's a 12 watt panel so okay sun is not really bright and you see these very light bright carbon back frame they heat up very quickly so this is no longer 20 25 celsius degree degree celsius 